Buddhist monks, who are they and what do they do? Let's find out. Thailand. Its beauty and attractions are visible to all the world, yet most won't look past that and into the sacred for more than what meets the eye. Within Thailand, there resides a mystical program that combines ancient wisdom with traditions dating back more than 2,500 years. It's the mystery and the lifestyle that draw men from around the world into this spiritual center with hopes to train, practice, and develop the self by making the ultimate sacrifice. To enter this space, one must renounce worldly living, lose his identity, commit to life at a monastery, and vow to live according to 227 precepts. All of this is what you'll find on the journey to becoming a Buddhist monk. But why? Why would anyone take the road less traveled? Why isolate and seclude yourself from the world? Why give up the pleasures of this life? For many, the answer is simple. Though our journeys to this point are different, at the heart of them is the desire and commitment to develop our spiritual life and inner world. It's not easy. Training to become a monk is some of the most rigorous of its kind and it's divided into three categories. First, discipline. As monks, we live by 227 precepts. These rules guide us in terms of what we can do, what we cannot do, and what we should do. These include topics like manners, etiquette, behaviors, and even cleanliness. And it's these precepts that allow us to train ourselves well, strip our ego, and eliminate old habits. The precepts help to lay the foundation for the next step in the process. Meditation. Meditation is the path we take to discipline the mind. To put it simply, it's the practice of keeping our mind within ourselves. Think of it as a security measure. When the mind is out of the body, it becomes vulnerable. To know meditation, we must learn the real nature of the mind, or the monkey mind as we call it. We learn that the mind thinks all the time. It has an ability to wander far and fast, and it switches thoughts all of the time, preventing us from finishing singular thoughts. 
Once we understand the mind, we use meditation as a tool to keep it still. A still and relaxed mind is the goal. Because when the mind reaches this point, an inner light and inner goodness begin to shine from within, generating a feeling of inner peace, happiness, and joy. The culmination of these produce self-knowledge and realization, which leads to the third category of training, wisdom. Buddha's teaching tell us there are three levels of wisdom to be developed. The first comes from study, which we gain by exposing ourselves to teaching of others. The second is from reflection, when we analyze ourselves and think deeply on a subject. And the third is from intuition, the highest form of wisdom Buddha teaches, which comes from stillness of the mind. In addition to the threefold trainings of discipline, meditation, and wisdom, we also build skills in generosity, morality, patience, equanimity, and other areas which lead us to become masters of observation. With the skill of observation, we're able to identify the root causes of things and see the reality of life, purpose, and living. As monks, we understand the battles of everyday life, but more importantly, at the core, we know that the real battle is within. To overcome this battle, we continue to train, we fight, we struggle, and we endure. Each and every day vowing to overcome the self by sacrifice. We give up our families, careers, passions, and identities, all because of a strong faith and hope in humanity. In this lifetime, we vow to do no harm and make a commitment to be a source of brightness. Through a dedicated life of self-sacrifice and discipline, we hope to change the world by first changing ourselves. This is our way of making a difference in the world.